God, is it a plane? Ooh, there could be survivors. We need to check it out. Dude, I got goosebumps. Dude, this is going to be the crashed plane event. This is huge. Hey, guys. It is me, Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome to a brand new account in Last and Earth Survival. We've just gotten a new update that changes the experience of new players. So why not check it out? Oh, my character was sleeping. We've never seen that before. Ah, my head is killing me. Where am I? What's going on? All right, so the game's teaching me to walk now. Search the pickup. Okay, let's go. Let's try to search the pickup truck. So for those who do not know, I've been playing this game now for six years. And every time we get a new update that changes the experience of new players, I always want to check it out because I do care about new players. I want to know what it's like to start the game from the beginning. And there we go. It looks like we have some new things. Now the game is a little bit more clear. It shows how to cl click those close buttons. I don't really know if that's really necessary, but maybe some people were getting lost. In any case, now let's open up the backpack and now we need to equip this thing. That's what the game tells me to do. Whatever. Let's take this and now we can close that. Now the game's going to teach us how to sneak. We did not have these prompts before. You had to do everything on your own, which I don't really know if we have to have like these bold, huge prompts, but maybe there were some people that didn't know how to equip that weapon. Okay, let's click to open up the body and we can get probably the rope. There we go. What else do we have to do? We have now another task. We have to go and collect berries. Whatever. Let's do this. So yeah, things are totally different. Plus, we're going to have here a lot of tasks. Before we had some sort of acts, we had a story mode. So that story mode has been changed that I'm very excited to check it out. We've gotten these berries and now the game teaches me that I can go and use them <laughs> to eat them to heal up. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. And now we can claim the rewards. These are the tasks that I'm talking about, the survivor's path. So here we can get lots of awesome things. Now the game explains everything, how things should be done here. It'll explain how to get the chopper. It'll explain how to open up the settlement, how to upgrade that settlement, and then how to get the drone. But hey, everything in due time. Now let's claim the rewards. We've just gotten some beans and some water. We can go to inbox and the game tells me to get 10 bottles of water. Whatever. I would probably suggest you to not take them. You can just keep them in the inbox. But if the game tells me to take that, I will take that. And now we have to inspect the house. Is this still the same house? It's a different house. It didn't look like this. We've also gotten a brand new beginner's house. For those who didn't know, when this game came out, we didn't have any houses. That's quite livable, but we need to clean it up first. So when this game came out, we didn't have any bases. Then after like two years or so, we've gotten a beginner's base that looks quite similar to this one. But this base is even more different now. They've added these extra floors here. They've also added this wardrobe. We did not have it before when you begin. Okay, understandable. Well, now we have to examine the chest, it says. Let's try to examine it. I think we can just put everything inside of this chest. Understandable. We have no another task. We have to collect logs, limestones, and plant fibers. Okay, we can just click on auto. The game tells us that we can click the auto in the down left corner. And the character is just going to go and pick up everything. Also, another thing. Before, we would only get one piece of grass. Now, we get two pieces of grass all the time. There we go. Boom. Which is absolutely huge. I love that. It is a huge change. If you've never played Last Night Spells, and those changes don't really matter to you. <laughs> but if you've been playing this game for a while, these changes are quite huge. Plus, I've just leveled up here. Okay. So, that's cool. Wait, do I have to click on the level up? Oh, you can just go here. You don't have to go in your backpack to choose the level up. Okay, so now we can choose one of these perks. Let's get the medic perk. Why not? And what do we have now? We have to craft a hatchet. Now, the game's going to tell us how to go into these blueprints. All right. Maybe it is useful. I always appreciate games that have a nice tutorial. I don't really like games that have to pinpoint everything. But again, maybe some people get lost. Maybe some people got last in Earth Survival and they didn't know how to craft that hatchet or something. Now the game is going to hold your hands through that. And you know what? It's not bad. I'm pretty sure those tutorials are going to end quite soon. So as I said, I don't mind a good tutorial. Okay, let's try to chop down one more tree. Then we'll have to go and fight these deer. And deer usually now give us three meat instead of one, which is also huge. Collect boarded wall fragments. Whatever. I will get that. So yeah, the experience is definitely different. Now there are way many more tutorials. Let's go here and we have to build a wooden floor. So now also the building menu is completely different. Wait, I don't think I'll be able to build anything because I'm standing there. But yeah, we can go to foundations and we can start building like level four walls right away. We don't have to just build level one walls before you would have to upgrade those level one walls to level two, level three, and then only to level four. So that's also a little bit different. Whatever, let's build a floor. And what do we have to do now? Build wooden walls. We have to go and build some new wooden walls. Okay. I will build one wall here. I will place it here. That is it. Do I need to build anything else? I need to build a small storage box. So how about I add that box here in the corner? 
think it looks kind of decent. New beginning! There we go! We have some new animations. This is awesome. I love that. This is epic. I do like the, the beginner's experience now. Last Unearthed Survival was completely different when I started playing it. And I'll be honest, probably Last Unearthed Survival is now in the best state that it's ever been, especially for beginners. Okay, let's go here. Let's get that limestone. And do I need to build anything else? We have to craft a pickaxe and mine limestones from deposits. Okay, so we will do that. Except I can't craft it because I don't have enough wood. So how about I get some more wood? There we go. Now we have enough wood. I can craft a pickaxe. And now we have to start mining limestones. Let's get some stones. And hey, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this new beginner's update? I think it is huge. I love it. Maybe it is a little bit sad to those that have played through acts. For those who didn't know, acts were like some sort of a story mode in the game. And maybe some people liked those acts, but... Now they're gone. Instead of those acts, we have the survivor's path, which is probably better than acts because I'm pretty sure acts were meant to be a, like some sort of a tutorial, but it was pretty difficult. So developers have changed it to this and yeah, it probably gets my approval. I really like it. I'm interested to start the game from zero to see how it works, <laughs> to see the beginner's experience, to feel it. There we go. We've just mined everything and we need to craft a backpack. Okay, so... God, is it a plane? There could be survivors. We need to check it out. Dude, I got goosebumps. Dude, this is going to be the crashed plane event. This is huge. This is awesome. So what we could do now is craft a backpack. But before we do that, let's try to get another perk here. Let's get the homebody. That way we'll be able to restore our health while we are at the base. Let's get that. And we need to craft a backpack. Okay, it's pretty cheap. Let's craft that. Put loot in the box. Okay, so the game is going to tell us to put the loot, which is pretty huge as... Maybe some new players didn't know how to manage that loot. Maybe they'd go to that crashed plane event with the full inventory. So let's drop everything here. And I think I can even drop some of the armor as that way we'll have more space. There we go. Let's drop the armor as well. And we have another skill. Okay, let's get the camel skill. Why not? Exit to the global map. Let's go outside, ladies and gentlemen. I am curious to see what is the beginner's experience. There's a crashed plane nearby. There are hardly any survivors, but there can be something useful. Show me. It is over there. My base is here. Okay, so first of all, the map is completely different. Whoa, before you would see so many things. And now when you begin the game, everything is a lot smaller, which probably makes sense. But now check this out. You can see Bunker Alpha here. You can see the Watchtower, the Transport Hub, the Police Department. You can see all of these locations, but they're not really jarring. As before, when you begin a game, there would be a lot of new locations and maybe people get overwhelmed by that. And I totally understand that. It totally makes sense. Here we have the swamp location, whatever. Now let's go to the crashed plane event. Why not? Let's run over there. This is interesting. Before the crashed plane event would spawn all the way up the top. Now they moved it closer to the base. Okay, okay, that's different. I'm also curious if this crashed site is different. All right, we have to search the suitcases. I'm gonna absolutely do that, but before... Let's get the berries. How about I start sneaking and let's sneak attack these zombies over here. So you can sneak attack these zombies. You can obviously do a lot more damage. Okay, there's another roaming zombie. Let's quickly deal with this guy. There we go. We've just leveled up. Let's get this other camel perk. For those who didn't know, try to level up one perk because as soon as you level up that one perk, it'll disappear from the pool of perks. And then you'll have higher chances of getting those other perks as there are some great perks such as extra pockets, burglar perks. You really need those perks. So I'm going to get the camel once again and let's start loading the suitcases. Let's see if the loot is different. I'm pretty sure this place is also now a little bit different. You know what? For now, let's take everything. Then I'll just drop things that I don't need because you don't really need to bring everything with you. Even though, again, that crashed plane event is probably going to stay for quite a while, so you don't have to take everything in one go. You can just come back here and probably take the rest of the loot unless they've changed something, which might be the case. I don't know. In any case, let's loot the bags and let's see what we have inside of these bags. Okay, so we've gotten some more armor. That's why I left my old armor at the base. That way I can take more things. I will drop some things that I don't need. The mobile phone. I will get these berries in my extra pocket to eat. And we have a note. We did not have notes before. I can't believe we managed to lift this dead guy into the air. Now let's fly away from this freaking place. Living in the forest with that sobbing dude is unbearable. Henry said he's experienced pilot. We should have no issues with the flight. Well, I think there was an issue. The airplane crashed. That's pretty sad. But hey, whatever. Let's loot one more suitcase. Or a bunch of suitcases. I said I'll take everything and we'll drop this phone as we really don't need that. Especially at the very beginning of the game. And then we have a few zombies attacking us. 
There's a roaming zombie, but it's a little bit faster. Usually these roaming zombies are slower. So I don't know if it's just for this event or something. Plus we've gotten a puppy. Let's take that puppy and mission completed. Return home with the puppy. Wait, nah, there are more chests to loot. Don't tell me that I have to go back home. Stop it. I'm going to loot everything first. Wait, there's smoke. I can see some smoke here. I want to get that smoke. I want to look at it. Wait, first of all, let's drop things that we don't need. All right, let's go down here. We did not have this smoke before. I can guarantee that for sure. It's new. It is new. We did not have it. We've gotten a crowbar plus some more food and a watch. Maybe we could take this watch. Sometimes traders want those watches. Sometimes traders also want phones, but whatever. Now even picking up grass is interesting. Okay, plus we've just leveled up. So let's go here. What do we have? Bruiser. Let's get that perk. It's a really nice perk. We can get more health. Now we have 100 health. Now we can get 102 health. And it goes all the way up to 120. Can we go up here? Okay, yes, we can. There's one more chest. So let's load this chest. I still haven't gotten a Glock. Usually this crashed plane event gives us a Glock and I didn't get one this time. Whatever. Let's equip this. Let's equip the pants. There's some more loot that I can take. Well, I dropped some things that I don't need. Oh, there's one more chest up there. How do I get to it? Oh, there are two more chests, not only one. So yeah, the crash plane event is definitely different than before. In any case, we're going to get here a Glock, just as I said, and plus lots of other things. Can I equip the boots? Yes, I can. I just ate the berries. That way I can get this Glock. Okay, now we have one more back to loot and we have more things to take. Let's take that. We just have some beans. I think I can stack these beans. I've taken everything there is to take. I didn't take this ball bearing and maybe there's like a scrap metal here and there, but we've taken most of the important loot. So that's fine. Plus we have a gift up here. What's up with that? Oh, daily bonus. This thing has been implemented in the game for a while now. The basically for logging into the game daily, you will get some rewards. So here you can get a pine log, which is kind of huge. Let's get that on day 12. We can get this military backpack. I think this menu could look a little bit different. It looks very, very basic. I'll be honest with you. It looks like somebody sketched it in Photoshop and that's it. In any case, let's get the planks. Let's get the wood, whatever that was. And let's get that all. Okay, so here we can get three blueprints on level 17. We can get an entire set. I wouldn't say that these rewards are the best, but you know what? These are free rewards just for logging in daily. So why not? But those rewards are pretty mediocre. In any case, we're back home. We have to put the loot back in the basin. Will it tell me to go back there as I've already picked up everything? Okay, let's just put everything away. Let's put everything away here. And now we have to install a dog crate. Wait, did they make it cheaper? Because before it was pretty expensive. Oh, we need more wood. I still don't have enough wood. The game doesn't hold my hand through that, so... I'll just probably chop my own wood then. Plus we need more boxes. So how about I install a few more boxes? Let's go to storage. And I can't build another small box because we don't have enough grass. Let's chop down here a few trees. Let's get some grass. Let's build one more box. And another big tip and trick that I can tell you at the very beginning of the game is start sorting out at the very, very beginning. The earlier you start, the better it is because later on you will have a lot of loot and the base will become very messy. So build as many chests as you can. Currently you can build 40 chests. So build as many chests as possible and start Start dropping loot inside of those chests and try to sort it out because it is going to be very, very important. So I'm going to go and build one more storage box, probably somewhere over here. Why not? There we go. Let's build that. And now we have to install the dog crate and I have enough resources for it. Where do I even build it? Maybe let's build it over here. There we go, because maybe I'll be expanding my base that way. So, hey, let's build the doggo crate. Now we have to examine the crate. And here we have to drop the resources. They've also added these little animations now. So there's this animation explaining what these dogs are. Explaining that hey, these doggos can loot special rooms and whatnot. And hey, here we need to fill it up with these other resources. And I'm pretty sure that I still don't have all of these items. I mean, I could click the fill up button, but the game's going to use up all of my resources that I have at the base. And I don't want to do that. However, what I want to do is mine some iron deposits. Let's get that. And I want to check here. Do we have anything? Yes, indeed. We have some juicy steaks. So some tips and tricks about this campfire. At the very bottom here, put some charcoal. And at the top, put some planks. Then you'll be able to get more charcoal. And then use that charcoal to smelt anything else you want. You can also use that charcoal to cook whatever you want. But don't really cook these juicy steaks. It's a lot better to build a meat dryer. Wait, we're going to click through all of these things so that these new icons disappear. And I'm going to show you that meat dryer. At what level does it unlock? It unlocks on level 7, buddy. This meat dryer is a lot better as it doesn't require any resources. It doesn't require any fuel, aka charcoal, to cook it. It just dries on its own. So that meat dryer is better. Don't cook your meat. Save your charcoal for something better. You can cook carrots there. Okay, there is also a deer. We can deal with it just like that. And check this out. Here we should be able to get three meat instead of one, which is also huge. I already told you about that change. It is awesome. So far, I'm interested to see what other tasks we have 
here in this game. What else this game will offer us? What other kind of little animations we'll find here? Well, and the game wants me now to build a woodworking bench. Okay, let's do it. It's a lot better now. This building menu is a lot, a lot better. Also, quite recently, we've gotten another update where we have like some sort of a global inventory. So if you have resources in these chests, my character will actually see those resources and use them. You don't have to hold those resources in your pockets or in your backpack. It was really annoying. You had to hold all of your resources in your backpack when you wanted to build something. And it's been like that for almost like six years as only recently they've changed that. And it's huge. I love that change. That was a really huge quality of life improvement. Put logs in the wood working bench. Okay, how many logs do I have? Zero. Maybe I have some of the logs here. I have three logs and that's it. I got nothing else. I got only three logs. Well, let's drop them here. And every time you click here on this thing, you can see what kind of resources you can drop here and what kind of resources you can get. So for one pine log, we can get one plank. Let's get that. And we've just leveled up again. We can get this fisherman perk. Let's get it. So now we will be able to fish in this game. Go to pine bushes with a hatchet. I'll probably drop everything let's get a hatchet it's still interesting that they didn't show everything on the map i don't know if that's a good change or that's a bad change i guess only they will know that if they notice that they retain more new players than before then this update was a w then this update was a good change if they see that less players stay playing the game after this new update then they might revert some changes but in any case i think it's kind of cool now we can actually see what locations you don't have here now you know that there's this oil rig even though we can't go there but hey there is that oil rig in any case Let's go to the pine bushes. Now we have to kill wolves, examine the stashes, and cut down trees, which is easy to do. So hey, let's do that. I also love these little tasks. I do believe that every time you begin a new game, you should have like some sort of a tutorial like this. Like, hey, kill a few wolves, like chop down a few trees. So at least that way you familiarize yourself with what you have to do. Before, we also had like some sort of a survivor's guide and whatnot. Except to know what we have to do, you'd have to open up that survivor's guide going through like whatever many menus. And it was pretty difficult. Now it's a lot easier. It's a lot more simple. And yeah, that definitely gets my approval. It is huge. I think the devs have done a great job for the newcomers. And as I said many times, I care about the newcomers because as soon as we stop getting new players to the game, the game will die. It's just pretty simple. You need to constantly keep getting new players because no matter how many old players you have in the game, no matter how many old players you retain, they won't keep playing the game forever. You constantly have to keep getting new players. So I am glad that they actually focused on the new players here. As recently, we've gotten the transport hub update, but that transport hub update was like for mid to high level players. So I'm glad we've gotten something new to like absolute beginners. That is great. Now we have to kill some more wolves and examine some more stashes. Well, while we're here, I'll pick up some more of these plant fibers. Also, it's a huge change that now we get two plant fibers instead of one. For those who do not know, you can build a sewing bench if I'm not mistaken, a sewing table. And with this sewing table, you'll be able to transform the grass into pieces of cloth. And then you can transform those pieces of cloth into bandages. And it is huge. It is seriously amazing. Okay, we've just dealt with one more wolf. -o. Sadly, wolves still give only one piece of meat. Well, at least we can go and get these deer. Uh, let's get three more meat. We're gonna dry all of that meat to get more healing items. So as I said, Lazarus oil is better than ever for the beginners. Oh, we've gotten here a hockey stick. Ooh, not that bad. First companion, go home. We are absolutely gonna do that. So before we do that, let's deal with fewer of these wolves. Now let's go back home. And just as I said, you still will be able to go to this crashed plane event as it still stays there for like 50 or something minutes. So if you want to take absolutely everything from that place, all of the ball bearings, all of the scrap metals, you should absolutely do that. Okay, so we have to put the loot in the box. Well, I will sort it out a little bit later. For now, I'll just drop everything wherever. And I'm out of the resources. How about I build one more box? I uh, need to go over here. Let's go to storage. And I'll place one more box here. Bam, there we go. This way we have more space. So yeah, I'll start sorting these boxes out very soon. But now, the game tells me to claim the rewards. Okay, I'll take all of that stuff. We've got a bunch of random things. We've got in here a road sign and everything else. And all these things are just sent here to the inbox. Let's get these small boxes. Let's take the pine planks, the bolts and empty cans and pieces of cloth. Okay, so now the game gave us all of these resources and we can just go and finish building this dog crate. And I think it's smart because it wasn't really necessary to build those dog crates. It was kind of a burden. So it's a lot easier now to build it. And that's it. Let's just probably drag all of these resources here. I could click fill up. Resources will be added from the inventory and your storages at the location. Whatever, I'll just drop everything. And let's finalize the doggo crate. That's it, we did it. Let the puppy inside the dog crate. 
We have the puppy here, so let's get it with us. We need to click on it, and then we can click the dog crate. Let's send it, and there we go. Now we have to feed the puppy. You gotta be kidding me. I barely have enough food for myself. So we have to give a little bit of food to that puppy. I'm pretty sure I should have a little bit of meat somewhere in these chests. Perhaps they're gonna have 12 meat. I'm not gonna give them all of that. Don't worry, you don't have to constantly feed them. Nothing is going to happen here. They'll stay here forever, so don't worry. They will not die. So let's give this. Wow, one piece of meat is gonna last for three hours. True friend, breeding unlocked. This is cool. Go to Limestone Ridge with a pickaxe. Ooh. The game's given us more tasks to do. We have done a few tasks now. We've gotten the new beginnings. Now we have the true friend. And here we have the power shot. So maybe here the game is gonna explain us the weapon modification. Okay, I will take everything. We've gotten two more doggos. Well, let's take out these two doggos. Let's let them out into the crate. Chloe and Penny. Okay, we got new doggos. And now that one piece of meat isn't gonna last for three hours, but it lasts only for one hour. So you need a lot of food to keep these doggos fed. But as I said, don't worry about it too much. And by clicking this button here, we also have seasons so we can get some season rewards as well. Let's get a katana. And just in case if you still don't know, we've gotten a brand new weapon, Dragunov. So it does 136 damage and it looks like we can only get it at the end of the season pass. Maybe if you're watching this video like a few months later, maybe a year from now, maybe you can get those Dragunovs everywhere. But hey, this update has just come out and that's so we can get these Dragunovs now. In any case, let's deal with this mapster. Let's kill this guy and are we gonna get a chopper wheel we should no we did not get a chopper wheel this time whatever we have to examine a few stashes and we have to kill five zombies understandable have a nice day here we've gotten some beans some other random things and hey at least now it's easier to feed those doggos than ever before as you can get three pieces of meat instead of one so maybe you will have some more food to feed those doggos that is pretty cool whatever let's deal with one more zombie here okay we just got a fast biter out of nowhere let's get the fast biter we've also leveled up so how about we get a perk here quick learner whatever let's get that quick learner perk We'll be able to get some more experience. My baseball bat just broke, so we had to get another baseball bat here. We got it from that dude that attacked us at the very beginning. Also, maybe some of you don't know that, but we are not getting attacked by real players. These are just bots. You are not getting attacked by real players here. Like, for example, here there's this Laroque. It's not a real guy. Laroque is not real. The guy just ran away. I couldn't get him. I could not get him. If I had a Glock, maybe... Things would have been different. We're back home and now we have to build a melting furnace. Do I have enough resources for it? Hopefully I do. Melting furnace and we can place it over here. We just need some stones and iron ore. Well, I'll place one here and let's start smelting an iron bar. The game isn't probably gonna explain us how to get charcoal, which I think it should, but it doesn't. So whatever, to make an iron bar, you have to drop iron ore and down here we need to drop some fuel as i said the best fuel is going to be charcoal and currently we don't have it to get that charcoal we need to get planks maybe i have some charcoal in the inbox but i doubt that this game gave us any charcoal unless we got some charcoal here and nope we did not get anything well whatever let's try to get here some more planks and now here i can drop two planks at the top one plank at the bottom at least for the very beginning until we get some charcoal and then i'll be able to start smelting this place i guess the game just wants me to drop some resources inside of there so how about i just drop three logs for example there we go it started smelting well, we were able to smelt it by watching an ad here before we didn't even have these ads. And even the smelting time isn't that bad. We just have to wait here for four minutes, whatever. We just did that. We have to fix the radio now. Let's do it. What do I need to drop here? Okay, here we don't have like a little video. Whatever, I'll just try to drop everything I have. We just didn't have that one iron bar. I think I need to go here and I need to get it. There go. Fixing this radio was very simple. Let's drop here. Let's finalize it and pick up a distress signal. What is this distress signal? Hey, anyone here, we need help. Well, we could go there right now, or we can go there in the next episode, so subscribe to not miss that video. The new player's experience in Last Internet Survival is completely different, and I still want to keep progressing in this survivor's path. There's still many more tasks to do. I want to see what else is new here. So stay tuned to see more, because there will definitely be more. And I highly suggest you check it out my Days Gone Let's Player. Click on the second card, and you'll go to my previous free-to-play Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to Playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And see you in the next one.